A lot of you Excel users out there love to use VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP to perform routine tasks. However, it doesn't work all the time. For example, in this case, if I want to select an agent, which is the second column I have here, and get the country corresponding to this agent, I cannot use a VLOOKUP because VLOOKUP only works from left to right and doesn't work from right to left. So what is the solution? Well, you can use index and match. I know a lot of you will run away when they hear index and match and they think that it's very complicated. But in this lesson, I'm gonna demystify this and show you the basics of index and match. So let's start. First of all, I'm just gonna make the dropdown for agent. So if I go to data, I click on data validation and then I select list. I can click on this arrow and select all my agents. And then I can say, okay, and I have agents here. The next task is to get the country associated with the agent that I am selecting. So how to do this? First of all, let me show you how the index formula works, then how the match formula works, and then we'll combine them together. So for index, if I do equal index, and I open the parentheses, I have three arguments. The first one is the array. So array you have to think about as a map or a grid. So just to show you how it works before we do this exercise, I'm just gonna select country one till the bottom. And then I'm gonna do comma, and I have to select a row. So what is my row number? Basically, it is the row that I want to pick up in this data set. So for example, if I want country two, I need to type two because it's the second row in my data set. And my data set will start at row two. Why? Because I selected the data from row two. I didn't select A1, B1, etc. Then you have comma and you have a column number. This is an optional argument. So if you selected only one column, you don't need to fill this. But if you selected more than one column, like in this case, it is better to fill it. So let's assume that I want to get the third column, which is the price column. I'm just gonna do three because this is again, one, two, three. And then I can close parentheses and press enter and I will get 92. 92 is my second row and my third column. In this specific case, where I want to get the country based on the agent, I don't need to use multiple columns. So what I can do is equal index, open parenthesis. What is my array now? My array is where I have my answer. And the answer I want here is country. So I'm gonna select the values which have country. Then I need a row number. Let's assume again, I want to select the second one because I have agent two. So I'm just gonna hard code this for now so you understand it. And then I'm not gonna put anything in the column because I only selected one column. I'm gonna close the parentheses, press enter, and you get country two. Now the problem that you have is that this two is hard coded. So how do I get this two dynamically? This is where I can use a match formula. So let's look at match on its own first. Match, open parenthesis, lookup value. In this case, my lookup value is agent two. So I'm just gonna select agent two, comma, and then I need my lookup array. So this is where I need to look for this value. For this, you cannot select a range like this. It's not gonna work. You can either select a column or select a row. In this case, my agents are in this column. So I'm gonna select this column and make sure that when you are using match with index, and you're gonna see this later on, the same number of rows are selected in both formulas. So in our match formula, we have selected all the agent until 15. And in our index formula, we selected all the countries until 15. Then if I do comma, I have a match type. Match type, I always use exact match. It's very rare that you're gonna have an approximate match or less than or something else. It's very rare. So I'm just gonna use exact match, which is zero. 
and then close the parenthesis. And here you get two. If you remember, the two was the data that we had here that is hard coded, right? So now if I put my match within this index formula, I will get the right answer. So let's do this. I'm just going to copy the formula. So Control C, Escape. I go to Country. I'm just going to click up and paste it. So that's the first formula. And the second formula I'm going to copy without the equal. Control C, Escape. And I will go here and I will put it. So now we are looking into this array or column. And we are looking for the second value, which is the agent 2. What is my row? It's the second row. I'm going to get the data that is in the second row here. And I'm going to do enter so you get country 2. So that's the concept. Let's try the same for quantity. And let's try to type it directly. If we do equal index, we have our array. What is the array? It's the array where I have the quantity. So I'm going to select this array, comma. I need the row number. So I'm going to use a match formula. We open the parentheses. My lookup value is my agent. What is my lookup array? It is here. This is where I have my agents. And then I want an exact match. So I'm going to put a zero. And then we just close the parentheses. We press enter and we get 31. If I change this to agent 3, you can see I get country 3 and 76. The last complication I want to show you is that what if I want to have this dynamic between quantity and revenues and I want this number to come based on the agent that I select and if I select quantity or revenues. So how to do this? We're going to use the concept we just learned. First of all, we're going to make this as a drop down. So we click, we do list, we select now those two cells, and now we have a drop down revenue and quantity, and we need to adjust our formula. So we start. The first part of our formula is what? It's where I'm going to find my data. In the previous case, the data was only in one column because if I just press escape, we wanted the quantity. But now we might also need the revenue. So if I click here, I can just select those two columns instead of one column. And then for my row, I need the corresponding value to the agent that I select. So for example, here it's agent three. So it's my third row. So that's fine. What is missing? I need to say to the formula whether I want the first column or the second column. And for this, we can use the column argument and use another match. So we do match. My lookup value now is the quantity, comma. What is my lookup array? It's those two, D1 and E1. And then I want a perfect match. We close the parentheses and then we do enter. So now quantity is 76, but revenue is 4,712. Let me show you with the formula step-by-step step how this worked. So we're going to do evaluate formula under formulas. And that's something good to do once you want to debug a formula. So here I have my index and match. Let's start evaluating. It will start with this. So here you see I'm searching for agent three. I want the match formula to work. And I'm searching in B2 to B16, which is here. If I do evaluate, I get three. So my agent three is basically on my third row, which is correct. So now I determine the row. Let's look at the column. Evaluate H6, which is the quantity or revenue. Here we have revenues. Where do I look for it? D1 to E1, which is here. And it is my second, right? Second data point. So if I do evaluate, it's two. So now I said to the index formula, in this range of D2 to E16, which is this range, 
please go to the second column and the third row and pick up this data. If you do evaluate, you get the right number. If this was too much for you, I have three lessons on index match and the combined index match for beginners. I'm going to put a link in the description so you can look at them. Otherwise, please continue watching the videos on this playlist. And again, I'm going to put a link in the description because I'm going to show you more complex lookup scenarios. So you're going to be able to understand and perform those complex operations. And as usual, I would love to see your comments. Liking this video would be amazing. And if you didn't do so, subscribe to the channel.